<laughs> All right, so this is Clay's display case here. This is Main Street Coins display case, which is usually full. So Clay, man, I gotta ask you, <laughs> is it time to panic? everyone silver joker here okay so let me first start by saying that what i'm going to talk about today or what's going to be discussed in this video may not be what you're experiencing you your coin stores and bullion dealers and the people that you deal with for your physical bullion may be business as usual but we're from where i am and the people that i know that buy physical silver on a regular basis there is absolutely a supply issue demand is outstripping supply by far and so we're, I went down, I talked to Clay, and we talked a little bit about how he's dealing with it and some of the things that he expects is going to happen here in the very near future and how he's conducting business as usual amidst this unprecedented demand for physical silver. So without any further ado, let's go talk to Clay. We're here at uh, Main Street Coin, and uh, I just want to show you guys something here. This is a pyramid of buffalo rounds. Yeah, buffalo, buffalo rounds. rounds. Mm -hmm. And um, so just let you guys know right now, this right here all belongs to one person. <laughs> they ordered it two weeks ago. Yeah. It took every bit of two weeks to come in. So oh, wow. definitely the supply chain is still running slow. Yeah. And I'm going to show you guys something that you're not used to and probably uh, going to take a second to get your eyes adjusted. But uh, this is Clay's case here. Main Street Coin, this is their case. So that's where we are. But it's not going to stay like that, of course. I mean, you'll have more silver. So By next week, um, we'll have more shipments for the counter. And we're still ordering for customers every day. But I just explained to them that the lead times are bigger. Yes. What is going on? And look, the generic bin is empty, folks. Yeah, it is. It is wow, empty. depleted. This is unprecedented. Okay, so um, your main question, Clay, I got to ask you, man. Should I panic? I think, uh, I think we're going to see supply start to normalize in the next two to three weeks somewhat. I do think, though, that we've entered an era of permanently high demand. So we'll see what effect that has on the market as we go through. But, I got you. Yeah. All right, so what would you attribute to that? I mean, I know there's things going on. You know, if we, as we've discussed before, those of us that stack or work in this industry, this is very familiar to us. But for the other 99.9% .9 of the consumers out there, this is a very foreign concept of holding money like this. Yes. So I think with the banking crisis beginning, we're starting to see that idea kind of move toward larger uh, groups of people that want to protect their assets. Uh, and you know, a little bit of knowledge moving into those big groups of people creates a ton of demand that just wasn't there a few months ago. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And. Um but you're saying that you know this should, this may be a temporary thing, that this right yeah, here. I think a, that we're going to see uh, supply start to normalize in the next few weeks somewhat. But like I said, I think that it's going to be a permanently high demand for this uh, metals going forward. So, John, how long have you been working here, buddy? That's the first time I've seen you. Since last October. Oh, since so like you like it? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's a great job. You have your own stack? You stack too? Yeah, yeah you I've, got, I've got a little bit of silver in my house. And, uh, started recently, so. Okay. All right, if you don't mind me asking, what a... Uh, I mean, I know my reasons for stacking. I know a number of other people's reasons for stacking. Um, what's your reason? I mean, besides just the obvious, <laughs> silver's beautiful. <laughs> so that, that's literally what I was about to say. Silver yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's no secret that we go in the grocery stores and, you know, our dollar's worth a whole lot less than it was a couple, of, just two years ago even. I mean, my grocery bill is double, if not triple, what it was. And uh, so, you know, it's just kind of in your face. Like, yeah. you got to do something protect your money. Um, I like silver, you know, it's, I'm not an extremely wealthy man, so silver's a good, silver's <laughs> a good. Go in the club with that, my friend. Right, so silver's a good thing, you know, I, I appreciate gold, platinum, and all that, but yeah, silver, exactly. silver's really good for the people, so right. I mean, that's how I feel. That's how I feel, too, man, I mean, silver's affordable, yeah. out of the precious metals, it's the most economical for my budget, Yeah. Uh, and uh, like you said, it protects, you know, I, I go out and I earn my money, I'd like to keep it protected right. a little yeah, bit, absolutely. I mean. Everything seems to be coming at it, you know, groceries. It's insane. I mean, you know, even fuel. The energy bills. You energy know I mean? bills, everything. My, my Duke bill, it's, it's been out of control. Oh, yeah. And, uh, 
It doesn't seem like it's going to get any better no, anytime soon, so. but um, it will eventually get better. But until it does, you'll need something to um, kind of help you out a little bit. And I see Silver doing that. And um, so do, you, do you ever make it down to the other store? To so I typically the... work at the Fairfield store okay. um, because Larry's on vacation. Right. Uh, I've been out here helping for the past two weeks. So. Yeah, that's good, man. That's beautiful. All right. <laughs> nice talk to you, John. Thank you. So anyway, this is, like we said, this is for... Um, a customer who's going to come in now he ordered this you said he ordered this in advance two weeks is about what it took to get this customer's order in all right so what he did just came in and said look i want this this amount of silver yeah, we have clients come in they write us a check we lock the price wow. for them um so there's no volatility in what they pay well, that's um, smart so it's just a matter of waiting a little longer than we usually do right now but things are still accessible oh yeah you know, so. yeah well that's good so um daily supply not so much <laughs> shops i'm sure we get picked well, clean daily yeah that's obvious <laughs> i mean i've never seen your display case this empty never since I've been coming here for the years that I've been coming here, this is, I've never seen it like this. Some of them, I haven't seen any constitutional silver in their cases in months. They just don't have any. We had a good amount yesterday. Yeah. We had one customer come in and, and took it all. So we've been seeing that a lot. I'm definitely not a financial <laughs> advisor. I so, do tell my clients, though, to view gold and silver more as an insurance policy than an investment. You know, I've, I've had clients that come in and, and they say, you know, do you think the price will be lower or higher in six months? And the answer is always, we don't know. Right. Should I wait for to delay my purchase to see if prices come down? And I always tell people, you know, it's like you need insurance when you drive. You don't wait till you're in an auto accident to call your insurance agent and say, hey, I just had an accident. I need insurance. This stuff is the same way. I mean, you know. This diversifies your financial holdings just in case something really bad happens. Absolutely. You know, or we have a serious currency depreciation or a world war. Um, you know, so it's important just to have it, I tell people. Yes. You know, don't I, be I overly so. concerned about, uh, you know, five extra dollars for a piece of fractional gold. I think 10 years from now, it's not going to matter. I th exactly. So that's, that's my point of view. Yeah. That's my point of view, too. Well, thank you for your time, uh, Clay. I appreciate that, and, um, you know, I'll be back next time, see if we can't pick up some silver. Sounds good to us. Thank you. All right, so there you have it. But just to be clear, in case it wasn't clear enough, this is not a shortage. It's not a lack of silver. It's just that demand is outpacing supply. And Clay tends to believe, and you heard in the video, that this is a temporary thing, that the supply issues are going to be worked out, and we're going to be back to kind of normal silver supply now the demand i don't believe is going anywhere anytime soon i believe the demand is only going to grow for physical bullion so if you've decided that physical silver is going to be part of your financial health strategy i mean if it's part of your budget and you can sustain your physical silver stack without hurting yourself financially i would say buy as much silver as you possibly could when you have it because at least in my city until this supply issues are worked out then it's always going to be silver is going to be first come first serve as you heard but it does come up and when it does i'm going to try to be in the driver's seat to get it because it is that important to my overall financial health and my peace of mind <laughs> anyway i appreciate you guys stopping by more good content coming up i've decided to use the silver shorts feature here at youtube uh, because you only got a minute so there's not a whole lot you can do in one minute i get a lot of requests for people asking about certain things that I show you guys in my videos. I don't necessarily go into detail about what those are. I simply show them to you. So maybe that's what I'll use the silver shorts feature to do. So anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. We're just going to keep the silver train rolling. Keep stacking. Peace.